In this video, we're going to look at solving addition problems using an open number line. Now the possibilities are endless, uh, but we're going to stick with first breaking apart our tens and ones in order to solve our problems. So let's take a look at 38 plus 72. Now the first thing I would do is I'm going to actually do 72 plus 38 because I want to start with the greater number. As your students are first starting out, you might encourage them to make a 10 chart, a 1s and 10s chart, um, to help them separate the digits. So I have 8 1s and 3 10s. If I'm first going to add my 10s, I might decide I'm adding just 1 10 at a time. So 72 plus 10 is 82. 82 plus 10 is 92. 92 plus 10 is 102. Now I add in my eight ones. Your students in the beginning might decide I'm counting by ones. Um, you might have some who can do it right away. Hopefully with an eight and a two, they automatically see that's a 10. But whatever strategy works for them, especially you know as they're starting out, you don't want to force them to see any of the numbers that we would immediately see. So help them along the way to get more familiar with noticing those sums, but don't force it. So let's say I wanted to add by twos. So I have plus two is 104. 104 plus two is 106. 106 plus two is 108. 108 plus two is 110. So we have solved the problem 38 plus 72, um, and we know it equals 110. Let's try another problem. And this time I want you to pause the video and try it on your own. So let's say we have 56 plus, let's say, 47. So I'll draw my open number line. I want to start with my uh, greater add-in, which is 56. Maybe I'll get my ones and tens chart down here. I have seven ones, four tens. So again, um, go ahead and pause the video and give this a shot on your own from this point and then we'll come together and see how you did. All right, I hope you had a chance to try it on your own. So let's look at 56 plus 47. Now we could make those big jumps, but let's again just make you know some smaller jumps until we get a little more familiar. So 56 plus 10 is 66, 66 plus 10 is 76, 76 plus 10 is 86, 86 plus 10 is 96, and I'm done adding 10s because that's 10, 20, 30, 40, and I have four 10s. Now I'll add in my 1s. I might see that 6 and immediately know, well, plus 4 will give me another 10. So 96 plus 4 is 100. And I know if I've already used four of the seven, I have three remaining. So 100 plus three gives me 103. So 56 plus 47 is 103. How did you do on that problem? What strategy did you use? Talk about your math and let's actually try one more. All right, last one. And I'm not going to set any of it up for you. I want you to try it on your own. Um, completely. So I'll write it out and then you're on your own. Let's try 39 plus 66. All right, pause the video here and go ahead and give it a go. All right, hope you had a chance to work this problem out. So I'll go ahead and draw my open number line. I'm going to start with my greater add-in, which is 66. I have my ones and tens separated, so I have six ones and six tens. Oh, pardon me. I have nine ones and three tens. All right, so I might decide I'm feeling really confident. I've been doing this, and I'm good. I'm going to make a big jump of 30. So if I had six tens and I have three more tens, 30, I now have nine tens 
and I still have my six ones. Now I need to add nine ones. I might see that as plus four to give me 100. And then I add plus five, that's four and five gives me nine. So I have 105. So 39 plus 66 is 105. You have just solved problems using an open number line.